In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a sticky header using free tools for your Elementor WordPress websites. This is Elliot with Verpex, and let's get straight into it. So as you can see on my Elementor WordPress website, here is my header, and if a user scrolls, the header disappears. So we want to make the header sticky so that when a user scrolls, the header will constantly appear at the top of the page. And in order to do this, we are going to use a few free plugins. So we are going to head back to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we are going to go to plugins and click on add new. The first plugin we are going to search for is going to be sticky header effects for Elementor. So just search for this and click on install now. And then we are going to click on activate. We are then going to add another plugin. So we are going to click on the add new button. And this time we are going to search for elements kit Elementor add-ons. And you will see this one here, Elements Kit Elemental Add-ons. Again, just click on Install Now. And once again, we are going to click on Activate. Now that that plugin has been activated, down the left-hand side, you will see the Elements Kit tab, and we are going to click on Header Footer. From here, you will see Header, so we are going to click on this. And then we are going to click on Add New. You can simply enter in a title name, so I've just called it Header. And then you are going to select the conditions. So I've selected the entire site. And then we are just going to activate this header and then we are going to click on edit content from here we are going to create our header so we are going to click on this elements kit icon and then we are going to go to sections and then you can choose a header section so there are a few different header sections that you can choose i'm going to go for this section 5 and click on insert and now we can design our header so firstly we can upload our logo so i'm going to click on this and we are going to click on choose image and you can go and upload your logo image. So I'm going to choose this image and click on select. Next up is to choose our menu. So in this middle section, we are going to click on this and we are going to click on select menu. And I'm going to go for my main menu, which is my header menu. Next up, you can change the styling of your menu items. So if we have a look at the current menu, we can see that it matches the brand colors of the rest of the website. So we can go to style, we can minimize this menu wrapper tab, and we can open up this menu item style. And then you can go and change the colors of these menu items to match the colors of the rest of your site. You can also go and change the style of the sub menu, the hamburger and the mobile menu logo if you want to as well. Next up, I'm going to add a button to my menu. So if we have a look at the current menu, we can see that I have this buy now button. So what I can do is I can actually delete this search icon and this hamburger icon. So I can right click and I can go and hit delete and I can right click on this and hit delete. And now I can go and drag a button in here. So now we can see I have my button and I want it to say buy now. So where we have the click here text, I can go and replace this with buy now. So now that I have replaced that text, I can also go and add a link for that button. So you can go and add a link in here if you want to do that. And now I can just resize this section. So what I can do is I can just hover over this section. I can see the arrow and I can just drag it like this. And then I can hover over this section and I can just drag it a bit. So now we can see that the buy now button looks similar to the original menu. So now I can see that my header is pretty much done. So what I want to do next is add the sticky functionality to the header. So we're going to go onto our header section and we're going to click on edit section here with these six dots. And then I'm going to click on advanced and I will see sticky header effects. So now I am going to enable this. And then if you scroll down, you can see the background color. So you can make it transparent if you want to. So when somebody scrolls, it will be completely transparent. However, I want it to still be white when somebody scrolls. So I'm going to go for background color on, and then I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to choose white. So now that I have created this, I can click on update. And once that has finished updating, we can click on these three lines and we can click on exit. So now my header has been enabled. So if I go to my homepage and now if I scroll down, we can see that sticky functionality has kicked in. So there you have it, a super easy way to create a sticky header for your Elementor WordPress websites. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Verpex channel for more WordPress related content. This is Elliot with Verpex and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.